What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. Before we get started, let me preface this video by saying, I love this truck sitting here behind me and I'm very thankful and grateful to be able to drive this truck like this here behind me. But these videos right here, the five things I hate videos, these are just for fun. I did one with my Silverado like two years ago, got like 50K views. I got so much hate, but I also prefaced it just like this, letting you guys know not to take it super seriously. I don't hate the truck. There's just some things I wish I could change, and I don't care who you are, if you drive a $400 beater car or a $150,000 supercar, there's something you do not like about that vehicle. And that's exactly what I'm going over in this video right here. So the top five things that I dislike about my 2021 Ram 2500 Bighorn Cummins. All right, let's get started here. Now, I'll be honest with you. I thought long and hard about this. I cannot think of anything on the exterior of this truck that I do not like. They, uh, Ram killed it on this generation truck, the fifth gen Rams. I think they did a really good job. Nothing in this video is gonna be about the exterior or the performance, I'll be honest with you. I think the drivetrain, the truck drives super well. I got close to 10,000 miles on it at this point. I'm very happy with it. Everything that I have a issue with is discretionary things on the inside of the truck, interior things. All right, the inside of the fifth gen. Now, I'll be honest, I'm gonna do a video next week about the five things I love about this truck and you're gonna see a lot about the interior of it as well because I do think Ram designed this truck very, very nicely from the factory. But there are some things that I absolutely would change. Number one being the heated seats, or like I like to call them, lukewarm seats at best. These things suck. S-U-C-K suck. Now, my Silverado seats were phenomenal. They were really, really warm. I have friends that have Fords that have really, really hot seats. Even brand new 21 Silverados or GMC, they have super hot seats. These seats in this Ram suck so bad. They are pretty much worthless. Now, the heated steering wheel, on the other hand, is pretty phenomenal. But, I mean, you still have your high, your medium, your low, but in my opinion, it's all low on this truck. They don't do pretty much anything. Now, I did like my Silverado and GM vehicles in general where you could actually choose if you want just the back or the entire seat. You don't get to do that in trucks like this, so even if you want to heat up your back a little bit, you got to also heat up your ass. So, heated seats are 100% number one. They suck in this truck. Number two, you're about to hear it any second. It is the seat belt alarm, the seat belt dinger. So annoying in these trucks. And I know it's not just the Ram trucks, it's anything Chrysler. It's like all the Chrysler products or the Jeeps, the everything. I do wear my seat belt when I drive. However, if you're just moving your truck somewhere, like to pick up a trailer or a parking spot, there we go, man. The seat belt alarm goes off and it does not stop, at least in my Chevy. It would like ding maybe every, I don't know, like every five minutes. This thing will keep on dinging every five seconds until you put your stupid seatbelt on. And like I said, I do wear my seatbelt when I drive. However, God, that's annoying. Number three ends up being the space. <laughs> I gotta park or put my seatbelt on one sec. All right, number three is the amount of space in this truck. Now you would think for a big truck, a big heavy duty truck, that there'd be a lot of room. But if you're like six foot five and up, there is not a lot of room in this truck. I'm six foot seven. No matter, my seat 100% is all the way back and all the way down. My head hits the roof when I drive. Also, you could probably see this. My seat's all the way back and all the way down and my steering wheel is all the way up and look at this. This did not happen in my Silverado. I had plenty of leg room in my Silverado. I had plenty of headroom in my Silverado as well. And it's not just like trucks in general, Chevy versus Ram, but my Volkswagen TDI Jetta, I have plenty of headroom, plenty of leg room. And like my Chevy Sonic that I had, I had plenty of room. This truck is not very spacious for us larger guys. All right, numbers four and five have to do with towing. Number four, I'll say, number four, towing mileage. Now, this truck shows that I got 1,422.5 miles of towing. That's a lie, that's a straight lie. 
The reason why it's a lie is it only covers tow mileage when you're plugged in with the seven round. It does not cover anything. This does not count if you plug in with a four flat, anything with a four flat. So basically any single axle box trailer or utility trailer does not count on this. It only counts for if you plug in something that has trailer brakes. Now I wish it would count that for everything because honestly this number is probably right around 2,000 miles because I've towed my single axle utility trailer a lot, you know, with my side by side on the back to get to places and it does not count as towing miles. Now I, I know it's not the end of the world because like whatever, it's just, it's just a number, but I think, I mean, that still counts as towing in my opinion. So, and then number five also to deal with towing is most trucks and my Chevy did this as well. If you put your turn signal on just like that, if you don't like put it on, put it on, but you just tap it, give her a little tap, it does three little things and I'm pretty sure every single vehicle does that but when my Silverado when I had a trailer hooked up no matter what it was four flat or seven round if I did this the turn signal would go six times allowing you more space and more time to merge it does not matter if I have a gooseneck hooked up to this truck or anything it does not matter what it is if I have a trailer hooked up and you do this it still only bleeps three times instead of like six or something like that giving you the extra space so if i'm merging with the trailer i legit have to put my turn on <laughs> instead of just like you know uh, yeah 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 all right guys i know these are minuscule things these are these are uh first world problems stuff like that but that's honestly the whole point of this video just to show you guys the five things that i dislike about the truck and i'll be honest with you i wanted to make this video long ago but it's been really hard for me to come up with five things that i don't like about this truck it's uh next week's video five things i love is actually gonna be tough to decide which five i want to showcase because i like this truck a lot more than i thought i was going to so um Honestly, guys, that's it. I just wanted to give you a, a fun, quick one. Five things I dislike about my 2021 Ram. I will see you guys next week. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe, join the family, join the comments below, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.